Hey, so in this video, I'm going to show you how you can use Canva to put your URL or logo onto an image that you already have or to add any other text. So go to canva.com and then just click on, you're going to pick one of the sizes at the top for create a design. So I'm going to pick the generic social media size and you can always um, pick any of the others if you know exactly where you're going to post it, but social media is the most common. So click on that, it'll open up a standard template for you. And there's a bunch of uh, layouts that they have, either free or paid, that you could use if you're starting your own from scratch. But in this case, we're gonna use one that's already created an image with a quote. So I click on the left here on Uploads, and then I'm gonna upload an image. It'll open up a folder. You just navigate to where your image is. Um, here, I'm gonna pick this one that has a quote. I'm gonna open it. It'll load it up and you can see it there already. I'm gonna click on it. It opens it up right into your editing area. Then you just have to adjust the size if it isn't big enough or it's too big. If you go bigger, it'll automatically show you what's getting cropped. So you can adjust it that way too. So there's our image. Now I need to add my logo. Now I already have my logo uploaded, so I'm not gonna do that again. Otherwise you'll click on upload an image again and then upload from wherever it is on your computer. Uh, I actually have them in a separate folder called logos because I have a business account at Canva but you can just do it for free. You don't need to have a paid account. And here I'll find my logo that has the white text because it'll show up better. When I clicked on it, it automatically put it into the frame. Then all I have to do is make it smaller because we don't want it to dominate and move it to, I'm gonna put it in the bottom left. So now my logo's there, that's all done, but say you wanna add some text, like a URL, you on the left-hand column here, you'll pick text. And then they have all sorts of fun designs and stuff too, but since we're just doing it at the bottom, I'll click on add a subheading. Again, I'll move my mouse around till I see the little crosshairs, move that down to the bottom. Just start typing to put your text in. And I'm gonna move that over as well. It's a little bit big, so I can adjust the size. When you click on it, you'll see your little menu pop up. So I'm gonna change that to say 21. And I'm gonna make it white, so I click on the color. And now I have that all set. You can play around with it. If you move it around, little dotted lines will come up to show you that it's in line with your other stuff. And then you're done. You can just change the name of it to something you'll remember. And I, don't, I think this was from C.S. Lewis, a C.S. Lewis quote. So it'll automatically keep saving. Let's see, is there anything else you might want to do? No, this is all done. So when you're done, you'll click on download. And then you can just directly download the image for the web since you'll be sharing it. And it'll download it to your computer. So I'll click on that. It's saving the design and it will download it. It doesn't take long. You can even share it directly from here. And then the other thing you might wanna do if you decide to get a paid Canva account is that in the business account, you can automatically resize these. Canva will do it for you. If you go under File on the top left and click on Magic Resize, there are a few different options of things that can resize it. So say you want it resized for Twitter, Pinterest, Facebook, and say Instagram. They all have default ones. So you click the ones you want to, you want to resize to. In the bottom it says Abracadabra. So click on it and Canva will automatically create that same image in a variety of different sizes. And all you have to do is adjust them a bit so that you, you know, so that it's because the image will come out a little bit different depending on where your, um, you know, the different, where your URL and stuff are. So you can't really see it at the top here, but I'm gonna click on the different tabs. It opened it in different tabs. So here it's a little cut off, so I'll wanna adjust this text a little, adjust the image, so I clicked on it and I'm just gonna move it down. Or I could just make it smaller too. So you have to play with that a little bit. It doesn't always work out. In that case, you might have to move your URL up a little bit and play with it, make sure it fill, fits in that box. So here, I'll do this again. So I'm making it bigger. And 
you can see exactly what it's going to look like. So if something gets cropped, you won't actually have to worry about the lines. So that's one. In other videos, I'll go through some other ways that you can put your images on.